Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, so let's just go right into your settings. Under your settings, you will see your very first option where it would be your device's name, maybe it's your name. Just click right there, it's your very first option, and manually make a backup on iCloud. Once you do that, just scroll down, and you guys will see general. Just in case, if you guys have no more space on your iCloud, you guys can hook up your iPhone, iPad, or touch to your computer and use iTunes, which is a free program in order to update and back up your phone for free. Anyways, right now, let's just go right into general. Under general, you will see your second option where it says software update. Under software update, this should be popping up 13.3.1. Right down here, a lot of you might just see install. That's okay. That means it just downloaded by itself. If you want to see exactly what this does, we can always click on learn more. And we're going to see all this down here. We're just going to go back for now. And we're going to select download and install. If you guys have a passcode, it's going to ask you at this time for that. Once you put in your passcode, it's going to start downloading. Then it's going to install. So in the downloading process, if your phone or your iPad turns off, it's no big deal. However, if it turns off when it's installing, that's a problem. So just make sure to have at least 50% of your battery. And even then, if you guys have more, I still would recommend to hook it up to some electricity. That way, nothing bad will happen and you won't have to restart. But anyways, that's why I recommended making that backup either on iTunes or over iCloud. Anyways, right now, it's just going to download. The download process will actually not take that long because it's not a humongous update. Then again, this does depend on your internet speed. So depending on your internet speed, Downloading time can vary a lot. For those of you with medium internet speed, this will take about 10 minutes. For those of you really fast internet, then maybe five. And if you guys have really slow internet, yes, this could take about 30 minutes to download. After that, we should see just install. So once we click on install, it's gonna reset our phone. We're gonna see a black screen, Apple logo, loading bar. But anyways, right now, let's just tap on install now. And here's the part where you don't want your iPhone, iPad, or touch to die on you, because right now it's gonna install. So just after a few minutes, you will see an Apple logo a loading bar, a second Apple logo, another loading bar. The second loading bar that you will see will load even faster. So this is the second one. That's why it's loading faster than the first one. But overall, this will not take more than five to 10 minutes for most of you. After that, it should ask us for a passcode if you guys have one. Once you put in your passcode, you're going to get in. Everything's going to be fine. So you guys can see all the fixes have been done and you're good to go. Anyways, that's it for this video. The entire process for you guys shouldn't take more than 20 minutes. However, sure, I can see this happening and longer and longer if you guys have slow internet. However, download process for most of you shouldn't take more than five minutes and the installation process should not take more than five minutes as well. But that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.